It's the very last week for Project Jurassic Girl 2022, and I thought that this week would be a wonderful week to kind of highlight some of your makes. And I wanted to theme all of these kind of videos to highlight different things from the dresses that I've been receiving. Now, let me just start with saying that you all have sent in such amazing and beautiful dresses. Um, and so these are only a small sample of all of the amazing dresses. So if you don't see your dress here, it doesn't mean that it's not as amazing as one of these. Um, because as far as I'm concerned, they're all really beautiful. But today we're going to be talking about fancy pockets. <laughs> and I have seen a lot of really creative pockets coming through the mail here. And I really wanted to point some of these out to you. So that way you can draw some inspiration from them as well. So the first one that I want to show you is this really cute pocket. Now this is a patch pocket and it is double sided and it has a homemade ruffle right here. And you all, as I was looking at this pocket, I thought, oh wow, that is so clever and so easy to replicate. All you have to do to make this look is cut two pieces out for your patch pocket because you're going to want to double it up, right? But then you're also going to want your contrast trim. Now this one is folded in half and it is sewn on the edges here too. So create a tube. So just create a tube of fabric or you can even just use the bias trim and um, gather the one side along that one edge. And then when you're constructing your pocket, you put your right side pocket facing up you pin the trim around the edge so that way it's all kind of folded in. So all of these will be folded in that way. And then you put your second pocket piece down so that way the right sides are facing and that ruffle is contained on the middle of the pocket. You sew your pocket, leaving a hole to turn it. And then when you turn it, this is what you get. And isn't that just a really cute pocket? And then look at this pocket here. Now this one has a really cute curve at the top, which I think adds a nice little touch, but come on, how cute is that trim that she added right down the middle? And again, this is another one of those double-sided pockets. So it's a lined pocket where you just sew that trim down on the one side, sandwich your pieces and then sew around your pocket and turn it out. Here's one that's a bit different and actually let me open it up for you. So this really cute pocket has a little trim ruffle added to the top of it. What a fun idea and the way that they did it was they took a strip of fabric they folded it in on itself so that way there's no raw edges on either side and then they attached it to elastic. So you pull the elastic as you're sewing it and it gathers your trim. And then you can just add it right onto your pockets. <laughs> Great idea. Here's one that's a little different, but here's some eyelet trim and the round pocket. But what I thought was really interesting about this one was that they flipped the pockets to the wrong side to add some contrast. So you ended up with that more lighter green colored fabric, which is the wrong side of the fabric, but it really does add a really nice touch. So look at those cute pockets. Okay, and here's another really fun one right here. And it's kind of hard to tell, so let me get in close here. This is a little tiny clip. So it is a round pocket but it's sewn down the middle right here and it's reinforced at the top and bottom there to make two different pockets. Isn't that fun? And how easy is that? I mean, it's um, definitely less work. <laughs> now this person had fun with not only a contrasting fabric strip up at the top of her pocket, but also with this little pom-pom trim that's sewn onto the bottom. 
And, and with the little polka dots on the actual dress, I think the pom-pom trim is just really spectacular. And I remember when I saw this next one, I thought, that has never, ever, ever crossed my mind before. And it's <laughs> this one. So this dress does have two pockets, but it's one on top of the other in, in different shapes. So you can see here, this one was an oval that was flipped down at the top and stitched. And this one has that rounded out bottom right underneath it. So you see that? <laughs> that is a really fun idea for this really cute little thing. Oh man, I would have killed to have had a dress like that, actually. I think I want to have one right now. <laughs> And the next really nice idea that I saw come across was Rick Rack. I mean, all of you have been having so much fun using Rick Rack, and I feel really inspired. What's nice about these pockets is that it's kind of a, um, it's a different shape. It's still a really large pocket. The Rick Rack is there, but it's also sewn right into the seam, which adds some extra support to the pockets. How nice is that? These next two dresses actually show pockets that go in different directions. And I think they're really great examples of that. So I, for one, really hate to try to match up a stripe, especially an irregular one. And by turning your pocket direction, it can really help these pockets stand out. But it's also so much easier because you don't have to worry about matching up the stripes. You can even cut them on the bias so that the pocket stripes are going in a different direction. If you haven't worked with stripes before, definitely try turning them in different directions. It's so much fun. And the very last pocket that I want to show you, <laughs> it's a really fun one, actually. This is a pocket on a pocket. <laughs> so, can you see that? So you have the really big pink pocket right here, and you can see it goes all the way down. But then you also have this pocket that's sewn on top of the pink pocket with a little tiny button and ribbon. But they're a little asymmetric too, which I think just <laughs> lends itself to some really cute whimsy. I really love the idea of a pocket on a pocket. It's just so clever, isn't it? So let me know down in the comments which of these pockets inspired you and if you're going to try any of them. Don't forget that today our special creator here who's talking about Project Dresser Girl is Sarah from The Naughty Gnome and you are. She is doing a tutorial on the um, Oliver and S popover dress. It's a super adorable dress. And let me tell you, tutorials are not easy. And she tells you that from the very start of her video. So check Sarah's video out right over here. And if you missed the kickoff, there's still time to make a dress so you can get the details there. And I will catch you tomorrow.